What is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today. Just making a non-Eagles related video here. I got this uh, news report pulled up. Um, basically, if you guys have been living under a rock, um, you might not have heard about how the Patriots um, are having a very serious power struggle. Now, keep in mind, this was just reported by ESPN and Fox News. Um, and the Patriots are actually denying these claims, but I'm just going to go ahead and read what I'm seeing. This is from the Fox News website. It says, Patriots power trio of Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and Robert Kraft showing signs of strain. So it's looking like even though they have been doing so well, it's looking like there's a lot of internal turmoil. And this doesn't surprise me. I've always felt like the Patriots organization was arrogant and just frankly rude in the way that they run their football operations. So if the way that they treat the outside, I'm not surprised that that goes on inside as well. Um, and basically what it's saying is um, because of the strain, it's looking like there could be some departures, maybe next season even. Um, so it just says right here, the three men who have worked together for 16 years and bulldozed the rest of the NFL are reportedly feuding on the sidelines and inside the practice facility. Da, 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 da. For the past 18 years, three of us enjoyed very good. Okay, yeah, so it says, for the past 18 years, recent days, there have been multiple media ports that have speculated theories that are unsubstantiated. So that's where they're saying they're denying it. So that's what I'm wondering if this is like actually legit. Um, let's see, but despite Belichick reportedly preferring Brady and other players, C-team doctors, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is all, this is all just, uh, this is all just a uh, naysay, this doesn't matter. Basically, from what I'm seeing is this report actually started from the whole news that, um, Tom Brady actually went to Robert Kraft um, Bill Belichick wanted to start Jimmy Garoppolo and Tom Brady went to Robert Kraft and told him basically to trade Garoppolo. Now this is another um, unconfirmed claim, but it looks like that's where a lot of the strain came from is that Belichick was looking younger, you know. Tom Brady, he's, he's really freaking old. He's like 40 and they're saying, you know, you are good right now, but we got to look to the future. Now the 49ers are saying that Garoppolo is like a freaking starting stud quarterback. So um, I can see where this would happen. This, this is basically where the controversy could have happened, I think. is If this is not legit, it would be because Tom Brady went... Oh, dropped my keyboard. It would be because Tom Brady apparently went to Robert Kraft to have him traded... So now everyone's thinking that the Patriots gave away a franchise quarterback and that's causing controversy. Um, what do I think about it? Honestly, I think that there is a grain of truth here. May, possibly this is being blown out of proportion because, you know, that's what ESPN does. But at the same time, they're saying that right here, it says the ESPN story was reportedly based on interviews with more than a dozen Patriots staffers players, sources, and executives who painted a portrait of the 2017-18 season as perhaps a last hurrah for the team's leadership. Um, much, of the cons much of the consternation appeared to be focused on Brady's relationship with his trainer, body coach, and business partner Alex Guerrero. Brady reportedly trusts Guerrero with helping him keep his body despite being 40, an age most considered to be too old. Brady, however, has managed to stay on the field again to supersede his slowly eroding skills and possibly even line him up for an MVP. Okay, and then it says, but despite Belichick reportedly preferring Brady and the other players, C-team doctors, some teammates have often sought out Guerrero's advice for injuries. Guerrero's not allowed to the team sideline. Okay, so yeah, it looks like he was going outside of the organization for stuff. Um, and Belichick's not okay. It just sounds like Belichick and Brady are not seeing eye to eye anymore. 
And you might get, you guys might have noticed too. Belichick has been very distant lately when he's doing like. I mean, he's always been like that, but even more so lately, he's been just kind of like they're asking him questions. He's just like, well, we're playing the Dolphins, <laughs> you know, like. So honestly, for me. I really would want this to happen because I'm so sick and tired of the Patriots, guys. You guys might be that as well. You might call me a hater, but really, I'm just sick and tired of this team, man. This team has been around since like the early 2000s, and we're now in 2018. It's like we've been over 15 years with this team, and I'm just sick and tired of listening to them, hearing about them. They're almost becoming like the Dallas Cowboys, only they win. Because the Dallas Cowboys are the same way. They just they can't just go away for some reason. Um, even when they're not relevant, they're relevant. So I don't know what's going on here, guys. I just kind of wanted to bring that up. I'll, I'll actually put a link to this exact article that I'm reading. Um, sorry, I, I could have gone over the whole thing, but I wanted to just kind of skim over it. But I'll put a link to the article in the description to kind of let you guys know what's going on with that. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think the Patriots might be close to done? Do you think the Patriots dynasty might finally come to an end? Which would be fantastic in my opinion because the AFC is one of the most boring conferences in sports because of this team. Um, it feels like no other team can rise to the occasion and the Patriots always just run away with it. Almost feels like they have a monopoly. You know, there, There's got to be some shady stuff going on. Because the Patriots have just been too good for too long. Um, but, you know, there's the old adage. With the rise, there is the fall. And there's like four asterisks next to four of their Super Bowls. So if Tom Brady does go out like this, then, I mean, sure, he's won five Super Bowls. But at the same time, um, many people don't like him. They consider him a cheater. They consider the Patriots organization scummy. Um... And so, really, we'll see what his legacy holds once he retires. He will, for sure, be a Hall of Fame quarterback um, and probably considered by many now to be the greatest of all time. But to the people that kind of don't like the Patriots or can see through the facade, um, definitely don't think that his reputation is going to be that good. I feel like it's going to be divided. There's going to be people that love him, and there's going to be people that will always hate him. Um, but anyway guys that's the video comment down below what you guys think like the video if you liked it dislike it if you dislike it it doesn't matter um, to me just uh, whatever you guys feel and then also I be do I do mostly Eagles videos on here this is actually a, um, something that I'm gonna try out try to maybe do other news on other teams when I see it um, so yeah, if you like this video, you know, subscribe, consider subscribing to the channel. And um, as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching the videos. Anyone new, anyone old that watches my stuff, appreciate it. And this has been Jigsaw0097 here. I'll talk to you guys later.